More random battles to the top, we finally entered the top 500. So let's keep going. Now, I love Annihilate, but it has a bad matchup into Monkey Dory. I have to get out of here, but into what? I have my own Monkey Dory. Which I don't actually hate the idea of. Let's go to our own Monkey Dory. Okay. That is not choice specs damage, which is good. We'll fake out. Okay. If we want to turn this into a 1v1, I'm happy with that because we have a lot of Pokemon weak to Monkey Dory. They switch out. Okay. They go to Tyranitar, unfortunately. We'll have to U-turn out. Now, hopefully we get a poison as we U-turn. But they go to Monkey Dory too. Okay. Overall net neutral, I'm going to go to Delphox so I have a fast, powerful attacker in the game. I would love to make a Focus Blast predict into Tyranitar. Or I could Psy Shock for the guaranteed KO on Monkey Dory. Okay. No poison. That's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. I'm going to Focus Blast into Titar. Here we go. Got it. Okay. Now... It's very likely we can Psy Shock our way through. They go to Iron Bundle, who I'm, again, I'm pretty weak to Iron Bundle too. Like, one Pokemon, two Pokemon, three Pokemon, four Pokemon weak to Iron Bundle. I do have AV Monkadori. It's tough. I could Terra Fighting Focus Blast, but that's inaccurate. I also have Terra Water Annihilate. I'm going to go to Annihilate the first time around. Okay. Hydro not doing enough. I will be able to Drain Punch or Rage Fist. I'm going to Rage Fist into anything to get good damage. Now there's going to be a Hydro Pump coming in. I don't think Terra Watering is worth it. Okay, I dodged it anyway. Lucky me. And now I have a 150 base power Annihilate ready to attack. Monkadori back in. I'm going to play aggressively with Delphox here. Okay. We get poisoned. That's fine. Now we have Psyshock. There we go. And we've accumulated a very big lead. And we have defensive Pokemon too. We... Two would KO this, and Scorching Sand doesn't do enough. Oh, I forgot about Poison. Yeah, it does do enough. Okay. Now we go to... Do we have anything faster? We don't. Go to Palkia. I like Palkia because I want T-Wave in front of potential, you know, setup sweepers who can win the game as the last Pokemon. So we have to Spatial Rend... Keep T-Wave in the back. And I think with all the generally good Pokemon we have, we'll be fine. But we have to be careful. They go to Alcremi. I T-Wave that. Okay, maybe I don't T-Wave it. Okay, there we go. Go to Monkadori. Sludge Wave. Okay, we forced him to Terra Poison. Now we Psychic Noise, but they can't heal anymore. Oh, that's... Interesting, I forgot about Aroma Veil. We're getting enough damage, and then eventually we Annihilate Rage Fist, okay? And we can also Terra Steel Suicune, so we're never in any real trouble because of Terra Steel and Annihilate. Okay, I'm going to skip through it real quick. There, we're basically, you know, playing the game, uh, getting recover out, etc. Critical hit. And that was actually perfectly timed, but it was never really that bad because we always had Suicune to win. Go to Glamora. Oh, that did a lot. That's choice specs. Okay. Spatial Rend. And Yen Mega. 
Okay, got that. Let's keep going. They were 2200, which is a pretty good good number for us considering we're 2100. We gained maybe 20 elo from that. All right, Diancy into Magnazone. Not great. Flash Cannon coming in. I can't do much about that. I'm going to go to Groudon, actually. Hopefully on the Volt. Yep, there we go. We'll get a spike up. They should be scared of me. They go to Golduck. Okay. How do we want to play it? I'm going to hope T-Spikes is going to be good for me. They Nasty Plot. Okay. Yeah, I T-Spike here. Okay, now I faint. Shaman will Oko. And they could Terra Grass, but I don't think they do. I think it's too early to do that. If they even have it. If they even have it, they'll do it. they'll have to Terra Grass. In that regard, maybe I could go for the Air Slash, because I have the flinch and I have the Terra Grass idea. But I don't think you do it that early. Yeah. Okay. Now, removing Golduck is really good for Groudon. Okay, they have a Poison type. I feel like they're going to Spore. No, they didn't. Let's go Oranguru. Psyshock. I wanted to Focus Blast, but I didn't have the Courage. Okay. Got Magnazone. Groudon is looking good. Shaman is looking good too. Flinching everything. They go to Fion. Okay. Now we can flinch our way through. I don't think they stay in here because they kind of need Fion for, you know, Diancy, right? So I don't I don't expect them to stay in. If they do stay in, it's going to be to Terrestrialize. Honestly, I played this kind of poorly, so we're going to have to find a way out. They go to Arcaladon. That's bad, but I can maybe flinch my way through. Now let's just go straight to Groudon. Okay. Lumberry. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Outrage. Now I'll have to give up Groudon. But I can go to Shaman. Pick up Arcaladon. Fioni's going to be a threat. Maybe my Bastiodon can win. Actually, maybe my Bastiodon can win. Nah, but it, it struggles with Amoongus over there. Okay, there we go. Get the flinch. Or not the flinch, the knockout. But hopefully we get the flinch now into Fion. They go to Amoongus. Are they going to Terrestrialize? If they Terra, I'm happy because it makes them weak to Bastiodon. Okay. Now they're a much weaker to Bastiodon now. Okay. Well, Iron Defense here. We have Chesto. Then we can Body Press and KO Amoongus after that. They, um, obviously, they didn't know it, but them going to the Water type really helps me out a lot. Okay. Chesto activate. We don't even have to Terra Fighting. Okay. Now, versus Fion, we do. But the fact that we didn't have to initially was good. No Scald Burn. Got it. Okay. Final Pokemon. Rillaboom. And we beat Rillaboom. I never thought Bastiodon would win me the game. But it is now potentially thumbnail material. So take a bow, Bastiodon. That Pokemon is usually pretty bad. 
Skarmory into Meowstic. I'm going to get my hazards up. This is not like the offensive Meowstic with Thunderbolt. That's the um, the other form, either male or female. I don't remember now, but this is more... Yeah, like that's not doing anything. Get all the layers up. I'm okay with losing a little bit of HP. And I can also go... Mult it's Prankster, right? Yeah, I can go Moltres too. Yeah, now I'm a little bit more scared. I'm going to go to Moltres now. Okay. They kind of have to light screen. Yep. And they go to Titar. So they had a perfect counter to Moltres. Okay. But I have a perfect counter to Tyranitar in Sandslash. That's very convenient. Overall, I'm backing that the hazards we got are going to be worth it. I can't believe we have a literal perfect counter to their strategy. Okay. Reflect is going to run out. Okay. They have to Terra, otherwise we Oko. Sandstorm really helping out. That's almost like... It's almost funny how perfect the, ma the matchups are to counter each other. Um, does this have Encore? No, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whimsicott in Heavy Duty Boots, too. I can go to Solgaleo. Knockoff is good. Because we remove the boots. Or maybe we don't. Let's try again. Okay. Probably Ty uh, Tyranitar. Gyarados. Bravery. Okay. Get rid of the boots is good. But how do I beat Braviary? I, I am faster than it with Moltres. That's good. I'm going to have to deal with hmm okay i'm gonna have to deal with light screen for a little bit longer one good thing is i always have the threat of brave bird recoil making sure that it keeps me alive for at least a little bit i'm gonna use renuclus here because it does it loses to titar anyway So if they anything they do is gonna give them it's gonna cause recoil damage. Twenty nine. So they have to roost, you know. It becomes a lot trickier trying to manage through playing through that. I might be in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's good. Okay, they gave up Braviary. Now, my Primarina can definitely beat Gyarados from here. They go to Whimsicott. Uh, I just... I go Renuclus, I think. They're going to U-turn. I go Solgaleo. Yeah, because I want... Something in front. Okay. Okay. Get rid of leftovers. Come on. Good. Okay. That's really good for Moltres. They're probably going to get Stealth Rock up here. I'm going to go Hard Sand Slash. It's fine. Thirty-four, nothing doing there. We'll give it Renuclus now. It's time. Now we go to Skarmory with Brave Bird. Yep. They go to Gyarados. 
How much does Primarina do? I don't want to be choking the game here. Okay. Maybe I did choke. I choked if it's Terra flying. No, no, I'm still fine. But Terra blast flying is going to be a problem. I probably choked it. I had, it's kind of tricky. You always have to position in front of the Gyarados, right? But even then, okay. Okay, now we go to Primarina. I don't even know if we faint to Terra Blast, to be honest. Oh, they are Terra Blast flying. We live. Wow. I did not expect Primarina to live that. Okay, now we outspeed Tyranitar, last Pokemon. It should be fine. We have a Moltres at full health. We still have Terrestrialization. They go to Gudra. Yeah, they take me out here. Earthquake, it's fine. Uh, we want to get rid of the Assault Vest if we can. Okay, we get knocked off. It's fine. I think we still might lose, maybe. Maybe we lose here. It's tricky. Okay. What we have to do now... Terra Steel... And Fiery Wrath. Because... If they do Earthquake, they put us into weakness policy, so they can't do that. They have to crit. Yeah, and now we get a, a speed boost from Tyranitar on Sand Slash, so it'll never work. We did, we did get lucky with the Primarina stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. We've been lucky the past few episodes, I think. Yeah, even yesterday and today, we've been... Genuinely pretty lucky. Okay, Coridon into Sandy Shocks. We have a choice band. We outspeed. I'm going to U-turn out. Okay. Um, They probably just got hazards up. Right? How do I want to play against the Kyurem? You got a Porygon. Okay, Thunder Wave... Okay. Honestly, they're getting good value out of Sandy Shocks, but this is fine too. Okay. Porygon 2 and Aloma Mola can combine to be very defensive. I'm going to get knocked off maybe, but even bulk up can be tricky. I'm going to T-Wave in case it's a bulk up variant. I'm a... Mm, I was going to say I'm okay with losing my EV light to make that trade. Okay, so it looks like it's AV, and I gave up P2 to find out that it's AV, which is alright. Collision course, U-turn. Let's U-turn out. Yep, there we go. Now, how do we beat Petrarunt? I have to think Kyurem could be the idea. No, it's Moltres is the idea. I'm going to Scorching Sands in case they want to go to AV Incineroar, which, you know, makes a lot of sense, right? Okay. They're going to knock off. I'm going to go to Coridon for that. I don't need my band. A U turn into a Loma Mola if they stay in. And I was going to. I thought that would go Petrant, but either way, it's fine. Wish is not bad. Do I Terra Steel? No way. No, I don't Terra Steel. Ooh, T spikes go up. Okay. I'm going to have to back Dodrio now. Okay, fake out. Okay.
Okay. Backing Dodrio feels like a good play. But the Moltres is going to be what wins me the match. They go to Mimikyu, okay. I just get rid of the item here. Okay. There we go. And Brave Bird will pick up a KO. Got it. Okay. So that's good value. We'll go to Aloma Mola now. And I believe Moltres is capable of beating everything. Best the Queen. Well, the Moltres Aloma Mola combo in particular. Because we get that flip turn. We go immediately to Moltres and we have Fire Blast and eventually we chip down Incineroar. Not now, but over time there's no healing so you just keep getting damage on it again and again. You don't want to get knocked off, lose your heavy duty boots, so you go to Aloma Mola. Now you threaten Flip Turn again. They have Wo Chien, another Pokemon that loses to Moltres. We'll go to Moltres or Coridon. I don't want to get knocked off. Let's go to Coridon. Let's Flare Blitz into it. Yep, there we go. Oh, we fainted from Recoil. That's actually funny. We'll go to Moltres here. Incineroar again. I could do it. Oh, that doesn't even KO. Okay. That was bad then if that didn't KO. They have to tear a poison now. I might have lost to Wo Chien. Thirty-two stun spore. That's bad. I am losing to Ochien. That terror ground was a mistake. Okay. No, no, this is this is bad. Okay, that worked kind of. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, I choked it. I really did choke that. I shouldn't have Terrid. I should have been a little bit more patient. Um, but... If it's Stun Leech, it doesn't have Giga Drain. It has to have Knock Off. Come on. Okay. Oh, not the crit. Not the crit pair. Okay. Come on. Okay, flame body. That's good. Can I roost again? I should roost again. Okay, now scorching sands. I think... Now, because they don't have Giga Drain, I can literally stall it out with Wish and then Flip Turn into Moltres, for example. Okay, we, we got out of it. We got out of it. Giga Drain, Wo Chien would have been a problem. Okay. Okay, we escaped and we move on to 2217. See you guys tomorrow.